In this video, I'm going to show you how you can delete your WordPress website from Hostinger. So you can see I've logged into Hostinger here and you can see I've got all of these hosting plans and domains. Now I'm going to delete my website and I'm going to show you how to do it. It is fairly easy. So you want to go ahead and go to the top here and then head over to websites. Once you've done that, you'll then see the websites you've got connected with Hostinger. The current website that I've got, which I'm going to delete is knowledgebasedtutorials.com. Now here is that website, you can see knowledgebasedtutorials.com and we're going to delete this together. Now this is just a template website and an example website for this video. So we're going to delete this. So what you wanna do is click on the website and that's obviously gonna open it and you'll be able to check that it's live. So once you've got your website open in a new tab, go to manage and then you need to do two things, right? You need to delete two things. So if you scroll down here, you wanna to go to files then go to file manager, and then you need to go here where it says access files of your domain. Now, if you click here where it says access all files, you're gonna be deleting all of the files on your business web hosting. Now, if you only want to delete this specific website, click access files of, and make sure it's the domain that you want to delete. That will take you to this new window, and here you wanna head over to the public folder. So now once you're in the public folder, click control A on your keyboard. So hold control, click A, and that will highlight everything. And from here, you can go to the delete icon in the top right hand corner and delete all of these files. Once you've done that, go back and close out of this window. Now we need to do one more thing. So again, make sure you're on the correct domain, then scroll down, head over to databases, and then click management. Here you can then scroll down and you wanna make sure that you delete your database here. So here is the domain, knowledgebasedtutorials.com. This database is for a different one, so only delete the one which has your URL. Scroll to the right, click on the three dots next to it, then click delete database and confirm delete. Once that's been deleted, we should now check that it's been deleted and our website is no longer live. So go ahead and refresh your page and you can see that has now been deleted. Now, if you did wanna reinstall WordPress at any point, just go to websites, go ahead and click manage. It's going to tell you here critical error, which is fine. But to reinstall it, you will go ahead and scroll down. You'd go to website, auto installer, and here you can reinstall WordPress and start from scratch. But that's how you can delete your WordPress website from hosting. If you wanted to delete the domain completely, then obviously you will go manage on your domain and you would disable auto renewal. That way, when it's time to renew, the domain will be removed completely from your hosting or account.